A major victory for Britney Spears, her father Jamie telling the court in Los Angeles that he is willing to step down as conservator of her estate. So what's next in the battle over the pop star's life and fortune following her dad's exit? We are joined now by TMZ founder and executive producer Harvey Levin. Harvey, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure, Dan. Well, you guys have been covering this case very closely. Were you surprised by this filing today? No, it was inevitable uh, because, look, there are two things going on. One is there are allegations that Britney and her lawyer made that Jamie has misused money of Britney Spears and lined his own pocket, something that Jamie, that Jamie has denied. But the second thing is that um, the legal standard is really, is it in the best interest of Britney Spears for Jamie to continue on as conservator? And I think it's clear the answer is no. Just because Britney says she's tormented by it, they don't get along, they haven't spoken in years, and um, this was a done deal really in June when she testified. So what Jamie is saying is on September 29th, when the court uh, has the next hearing, uh, he will ask the court uh, about stepping down. The court will say yes, Jamie will be gone as the conservator of her estate. And then the big issue comes up, which is will the lawyer for Britney Spears, Matt Rosengard, ask the judge to end the conservatorship? That's the big question. You know, Jamie Spears taking a very defensive tone in that filing. In one section, he basically says if the public knew everything about her health issues, her mental health issues, there would not be this massive outcry. People would be thanking him. What did you make of what he said there? Well, look, there is something for, to what Jamie is saying, that Britney... Uh, you know, you've got to think back 13 years. Brittany was in desperate trouble. Um, she was strapped to a gurney and taken to a hospital under a, an involuntary psychiatric hold. So she was in deep, deep trouble. There have been two dozen doctors who have examined her and consistently over the last 13 years reported to the judge on her condition and they've maintained the conservatorship. So there is an issue and even her current conservator, Jody Montgomery, the person who is in charge of the of Britney's person, she has now said that she's concerned about Britney's mental health. And so there are issues. The issue now is when the judge hears this case, if it comes to that, where they try to end the conservatorship, um, the judge is going to want to hear from the doctors and say, look, give us a status report. You know, how is she now? Do we need the conservatorship? Because nobody wants it. But the judge is going to have to decide, can she live safely on her own without one? And that's going to be the issue. And but Harvey, there has yeah. been, there has really been a big issue about mental health over the last 13 years. And Harvey, not a lot of time left here. I mean, how do you see this playing out for her? Fans were so behind this. Do you think she starts to perform again? Have you heard anything about that? It's a really good question. My gut is no, but that could change. It's really up to her. Um, she has given no indication of that. I know she said that she wouldn't perform as long as her dad was conservator, but her manager, Larry Rudolph, has resigned because he said there's really no point in him being on board because there's no evidence she wants to perform. So we'll see, but my gut is no. More to come. Harvey Levin, thank you so very much for being with us. My pleasure.